Okay. Many monsters you are fighting in Cobalt Empire. Every fight be making you stronger or dead. Stronger or dead. Who is daring to come for Cobalt treasures? Sword swinger, sparkle flinger. What class is good in this? I feel like playing aggressively is probably a good strategy, because the AI tend to not be very smart and not have very good decks, and typically players like that don't handle aggression very well, so we're probably not going for like Priest or Warrior. I'm kind of looking at Warlock because Life Tap is pretty sick, but also Warlock has a lot of shitty cards. But hopefully I can just not pick the shitty cards. On average I'll probably get a, a pool of cards that's playable. Let's go for Warlock. A giant rat. Okay, we got a Voidwalker. Voidwalker's a solid card. These other cards are shitty though, so we're gonna toss those. Okay, my deck sucks. Warlock was not the pick. Okay, that's a playable. He called me small and weak. But then again, I do have a Corruption in my hand, so I'm not going to argue with him. Play Knife Juggler because it costs 2 mana. And I think I'm going to punch him with the Voidwalker because he only has 10 health. And it didn't seem like there was much of a punish. Oh my fucking god. Did I just lose? Oh no. Oh no. Save me, Mortal Coil. Give me a 2-drop. Oh no. I guess I'm gonna tap. Oh god, I only have 2 cards left in my deck. <laughs> I'm gonna lose to the fucking rat! Okay, so we're gonna Hellfire here. Next turn is gonna be Imp Master plus uh, Sun Fury Protector. We just need one of those to live and then we kill him with Doom Guard. I'm gonna take a fatigue damage here though. But it should take his whole board to kill. Oh my god. Um, I'm not dead though. I take one fatigue and he can deal four face damage. Holy shit. <laughs> that was so much closer than it should have been. That was the sickest Timberwolf Bestial Wrath I've ever seen in my life. My minions have permanent stealth. At the start of the game, play three random secrets. Start with an extra mana crystal. Mana crystals are pretty sick. Permanent stealth means I just get to go face, but it also makes like my Void Walker and my Sun Fury Protector pretty bad. I feel like getting the secrets in play is pretty dope. Man, that mana crystal looks juicy though. Secrets are at least more interesting than mana crystals. Triple Fellfire Potion. Probably not that one. Implosion's pretty fucking overpowered, so maybe we take two of those. Dark Pact is probably not that good in my deck. Shadow Bolt's okay, Kazakus is obviously, like, really OP. I'm not sure how good it is to take Kazakus, though. I'm sure it'll keep offering me stuff that fits with Kazakus if Unique is one of the categories. I'm kind of into this whole double implosion thing, though. What does this guy do? Restore two health to all minions? Does that include my minions? Seems really shitty against a zoo deck, which is kind of what I'm going for. Wait, Imp Master is so good against his hero power, isn't she? He just keeps healing her. 
Probably still want a two drop though. I do have Knife Juggler, Sun Fury Protector, and I just picked up a Mistress of Pain. What do we get? Ice Barriers, Trash, Duplicate's pretty good. Bear Trap is okay. Yeah, dude. The mixed market economic doctrine. Knife juggler, please. Give me two of those. Okay, well. At least I can play both of these in the same turn. I could play one and tap, but he only has 15 total health. And this gets me an extra juggle. Plus more shit to hit him in the face next turn. Well, that's getting implosioned. Unless I have lethal. No, I don't. Oh, we hit four. Is he dead? No, I think he's gonna be at like two, and I have a Doom Guard in my hand. Now he's dead. Man. I had a sick curve that game. I don't even want to add any more cards to my deck. My curve is sick. Okay, well, we're not picking any of these shitty cards. We could still go for the Kazakus plan. This time it's bundled with a Defile and a Demon Fire. Demon Fire hits Voidwalker, Mistress of Pain. Uh, I believe these Imps are demons. These are demons, this is a demon. It's actually pretty good. If we go for the Demon Package, we get a Void Caller. I don't really have that many big demons to pull out of my hand or to recruit, given this card. This does give me an Abyssal Enforcer, which is good. I've got the Doom Guard already. And I guess most of my shitty demons are like Imp Master and Implosion. But there are still a Voidwalker and a Mistress of Pain, which are kind of bad. Abyssal Enforcer is just a great card. I'm really skeptical of this Possessed Lackey. If this was a better card, I think I would really be on the, uh, the Dire Demons plan. If we look back at this one, Defile is like a really strong card. But it's probably not that good in my deck. Let's just take some demons. Put a counterspell into the battlefield. Oh, that's actually pretty good against my double implosion deck. But I do have a corruption and a mortal coil. Well, I'm definitely sending back my, uh, my spells, because I don't want to get counterspelled. This hand is really shitty. Does this auto-cast the counterspells? I guess that's what this little aura is. Oh, I got a rogue secret. Oh, don't potion a polymorph. One of my secrets just healed me for one. Oh my god, and the freezing trap. Holy shit, these are bad secrets. Whenever a friendly minion dies, that's the Shadow Step one. Wow, my secrets were really bad this game. Wonder if it shows me Counterspell if I hover over it. Nope, says it's a mage secret. Man, that was the best Stone Tusk boar I've ever seen in my life. Tap plus Voidwalker. So the Void Caller is looking pretty shitty right now. He could have taunted my Sun Fury Protector and then killed that instead of the Voidwalker. That could have been a play. Well, let's just play Voidwalker and I guess Dark Iron Dwarf because Dark Iron Dwarf is bigger than Voidcaller and Voidcaller doesn't pull anything currently. Oh shit, not the Wind Fury! How do I even handle that? I think I only have two demons in my deck. The Abyssal Enforcer, which would be super good. And the Mistress of Pain, which is obviously not very good. Um, probably better off just going for 
Knife juggler plus imp master here. Okay, that went face, so we have to use the Sun Fury Protector. If it hit his guy, I would have used the uh the taunt to trade in probably. Okay, and he's dead. So far, the second and third ones were easier than the rat. The rat's OP. Fill your hand with coins. Take control of an enemy minion. Add it to your deck. Deal 4 damage to all enemy minions. Shuffle this into your deck. Filling my hand with coins could help me get on the board early, which is kind of what my deck is trying to do. I'm not sure how good it is to add an enemy minion to my deck. Like, obviously, two mana mind control is pretty good. But so far, like, that guy played Frostwolf Crunt. I don't want that card in my deck. 4 damage to all enemy minions. Shuffle this into your deck. It's a really efficient board clear. Shuffling it into the deck probably isn't that big of a deal, though. Let's take Mind Control. Maybe we get to steal something spicy. Okay, we're not taking a Cthune Package. We're not taking Double Fellfire Potion. So I guess... Oh god, I forgot I had two Implosions, because Akis really sucks. I could take the Double Fellfire Potions and just use them for burn damage, but later on in the run people have like 80 health, and that's very inefficient at that point. I guess I'll just take this one. Cthune costs too much mana. I'm actually fairly likely to keep Implosion. I think I'm fairly likely to keep Implosion in my opening hand. If I have like a 2 drop or something to go with it. So maybe because Akis is active more often than I think. All death rattles trigger twice. Um, I have the Possessed Lackey, I have the Void Caller. I think that's it. Probably not very good for me. Your soul shall be mine. I speak to the dead. Sarai? Sarai. Keep the Void Walker as a turn one play. Probably don't really need the Mortal Coil. Alright, my hand kinda sucks. Snipe. Noble Sack and Avenge. Those are all pretty good, actually. Oh. He's a priest quest kind of guy. Alright, I guess we play the 1-4. She would be a pretty good... Uh... Pretty good Avenge target. That was not a very good snipe. Oh, that death rattle triggered twice, right? See, look, I have the implosion, I have the Kazakus. We're good. Okay. Big Void Walker, I'll take it. Oh, the Void Caller looks pretty good with the Doom Guard in my hand. We'll go for that. And I don't think it's very likely to die on his turn. Maybe I can trade it off on mine and maybe I pick up another demon to go with it. Doesn't look like it. Wait, does this even do anything in his deck? Oh yeah, trigger. Never mind. I was thinking of uh, the guy that makes him trigger twice. Yeah, I definitely have to kill this, right? I can try to high roll with implosion. If I miss, it's kind of a bummer. Let's just play this guy. His death, ratter, death Rattle triggers twice. Oh god. So that Mistress is going to be a 4-4, four, four, right? Probably want to trade off my Possessed Lackey. Um, I think it might pull exactly Abyssal Enforcer and that's it. Let's just high roll. Easy. Well, that's bad. See what I pull. Okay, that's fine. Shield up. 
Alright, let's get the 2-3 on the board and punch him in the face. I still have this Noble Sacrifice in play. Wow, that is really bad. Um, I still have this Noble Sacrifice in play, though, to block an attack from that. He's actually pretty close to dead. But this thing's gonna heal him for 8, and I'm only showing 13, 16. So let's kill this. Okay, hit for four, so I'm not playing Nomferatu, I guess. Uh, I, uh... I took two damage that I didn't need to. Oops. The game begins. Mind if I roll oh. Alright, so he's dead here. I have this thing. Um, I could add one of these to my deck. Not sure if I really want to. The Onyx Bishop pulls back tokens pretty often, which is pretty shitty. The Loot Hoarder could be okay. I wouldn't mind having another 2-drop in the deck. Let's take a Loot Hoarder. So I have a Loot Hoarder in my deck now, right? Is that how this works? Yeah, there's the Loot Hoarder. Sludge Belcher, this guy, and this guy. Wow, Void Lord is really good with a couple of the cards in my deck. Uh, these cards are just weak, even though the Spellstone's pretty good. I actually don't have much that combos with the Spellstone, do I? Hellfire? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Reno's good, Kobold Librarian's good, but Wilfred Fizzlebang is really, really bad. I think I'm going to take these Taunts. The Void Lord is really good with my Possessed Lackey and my Void Caller. Sludge Belcher is really strong and the other card is Passable. Craft a Custom Mushroom Potion. If I remember correctly, these are 1 mana Kazakas Potions, which is scary. Okay, the sand is really shitty. I need to curve out against this guy because his potions are going to be really strong. Okay, Void Caller into Void Lord. That's my kind of curve. Triple Hunter Secret, Venom Strike, Explosive, and Freezing. The Explosive's pretty shitty, probably. The other two are okay. Throw out the Juggler instead of the 2 3. That's auto cast, so I don't need the. I don't need the stats this turn, so we'll just get the extra knife hit. Oh, this guy has 40 health, okay. I have 35. Okay, so he's two one mana Kazaka's potions. He'll two damage to all and freeze one. That's pretty annoying. Void Caller is damn good, though. Okay. Play out the Sludge Belcher. Um, what do we have again? Venom Strike, Explosive, and Freezing. Set him in the face, try to kill him. I don't love letting that guy proc the Freezing Trap, but I like getting the Cobra out if it procs the Venom Strike. And also, since I got the freezing down, he's going to overdraw and miss his potion next turn, which is pretty nice. This thing is obnoxiously large. Let's just drain life it, throw down a loot hoarder. And I do have to kill this thing, unfortunately. Okay, he lost his fungal mancer. That probably shouldn't be in his deck. There's the implosion, which is not good here, but it means my Kazakus is active. Let's take a 5 cost. Uh, ooh. The lore. I kind of just want the 5 damage, but these other ones are also really good. I feel like if my board survives this turn, I'm just going to win anyway. 
So we'll take the 5 damage and probably just summon a 5-5. Five, five. Two friendlies is going to be kind of risky. Probably should have tapped first. Since, uh... Since I wasn't going to mana to play the 5 mana potion anyway. I guess I should trade this off in here, right, and get the Void Lord down. Do that before drawing with the Loot Hoarder. Hopefully, this Void Lord doesn't get too wrecked. The 1 mana Kazaka's potions don't have a Polymorph option. Oh, that is... That's just rude. So, I'm showing 8 damage. I definitely don't kill him here. Probably just play this thing and then the Gnome Feratu. He has 8 cards in his hand. Hopefully this isn't ridiculous. Okay, a 2-2. Pretty expected. Wow, that could have been pretty brutal if he drew that earlier. So, do I want to kill this thing or do I want to punch him in the face? I think I want to punch him in the face. I have a lot of stuff on my board if he manages to play, like, I don't know, a, a brawl or something. I'm gonna have a lot of stuff popping out of the death rattle. And I have a lot of damage in my hand. Oh god. What the fuck were those trades? Well, he's probably dead here, right? This is 10, 13, yeah. Cool. Your minions that cost 5 or more cost 5. I don't have very many things that cost more than 5, and the ones I do have can be cheated out by other things, so that's probably not that good. My death rattles trigger twice. Um, I have a loot hoarder, I have a void caller, and a possessed lackey, and a sludge belcher. And the Void Lord. So I have five death rattles. They're all pretty solid death rattles. But things like Void Caller and Possessed Lackey aren't even always gonna be like hitting multiple things if I trigger their death rattles twice. I think just slowing down my opponent by making their minions cost more is better. <laughs> Double Molten Giant. Well it looks like I only have two choices this time. Power Overwhelming, Shadow Flame, and Sylvanas versus Homunculus, Stonehill Defender, and Lich King. I don't think Shadow Flame is very good in my deck, but Power Overwhelming is extremely good in my deck, and Sylvanas is just pretty damn good on her own. Vulgar Homunculus is crazy good, Stonehill Defender is pretty good, especially with the new expansion taunts that Warlock got, and Lich King is pretty sick. All of the taunt cards are good. Power Overwhelming and Sylvanas, though. Do I have any, like, self-killing things for Sylvanas other than the Shadow Flame and the Power Overwhelming? I'm just going to take these taunts. Those are some efficient cards. 